go. <laughs> so we're and beginning go. to crank down the straps. We are beginning to crank and so down. these. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so the uh, the box beam is on and I'm starting to do what I'm going to call sewing or weaving the walls. Um, so I'm taping the, taking the strapping material that I had already slipped under the sill plate and I'm adding a piece to go up and over the box beam so that I can then squeeze. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to ratchet that with a clip and squeeze all this down. So so I'm putting sections of this strapping material from the bottom all the way up and over the top. So I've done it all the way around, mostly. I may add a couple of pieces here and there if I can to a couple key areas. If a, if a strap kind of hits the box beam in a weird area that makes it want to kind of bend a little bit or something, I may add some straps or slightly move them if I can. As I said, it's, it's hard to because they go under the sill plate. But uh, I haven't really shown you this, so I just, I've left this, uh, this west wall for last. So um, I just started it. So let's take you through one of these, just kind of weaving it up and over and down the other side and connecting it on both sides. All right, let's attach one of these straps. So I've got the strap that's going under the sill plate already. It's got a clip on it. So I would pick that up there. I'm gonna start weaving this strap up under the bales, slightly above that one, because they're gonna connect in here somewhere. I want to leave a little room where they're not weaved into the bales so that I can do the ratcheting. I don't want the, the bale strings to get in, in the way. So I leave a little bit of space where it's outside the bale strings. But other than that, I want it under the bale strings. I just kind of weave it up. This will just keep it tight to the wall. And hopefully maybe stabilize the bales a little bit, but I'm not sure about that. I just gave myself enough on the other side to reach the strap that's already coming out from under the sill plate, which has a clip on it. So I'm going to weave it down the other side, attach it to that clip on the outside, and then come back and attach it to this clip, and we'll be done with that one. All right, here we are on the outside. Let's weave this strap down the outside of the bales. Now I'll attach it to the clip on the outside and move back to the inside to finish it off. And when these are all attached, I'll just come back with the ratchet mechanism and just slowly ratchet them all down, inside, outside, all around the building, little by little pulling that box beam down. So back to the inside to finish it off. All right, here we are back on the inside. I'll just attach this clip, cut the strap, and move on to the next one. That excess strapping is for the, the tightener tool, the tensioner tool, that I can grab this strapping and ratchet this. So I'm leaving some extra on all of these so that I can grab them later on and tighten them as I go. That's one down. Go. <laughs> so we're and beginning go. to crank down the straps. We are beginning to crank and so down. these so you know I use this tool to attach onto here and crank it down, right? And right. Cranks. So there's a there's a clip on the inside and a clip on the outside. So I do it to both of them. I'm going around little by little. I haven't tried to pull it all the way down yet. Because it's one piece or it's all attached, I'm trying to do it a little bit at a time so that it doesn't get all crazy out of whack. Wompy job. But some of them shrink faster than others. So bales are not you know, uniform. They're not all the same, right? So right. some of them are squeezing down really close to the bucks already, and some of them aren't. So also some of the bucks, uh, not so much the outside, you know, the, the framing on the outside with the king studs and jack studs and cripple studs and all that, but the inner ones, some of them are getting a little skewed. So it might take a little bit of like uh, 
I might have to like put a strap onto this and like try and straighten some things out before I attach everything. So again, there's lots of little adjustments that are gonna have to be made, but this is my first kind of crank. Um, and I'm not trying to take it down all the way. I'm just trying to pull it somewhat tight. And that allows me actually to manipulate the walls slightly because it's hard to manipulate the walls when they're loose. So once you start to get them tight, you can move them around a little bit. So I'm about to do the west all bale wall. I think that'll make a big, you can see there's a big gap. I mean, it's, it's gotta be three and a half inches or so right there. So that has to come down that far. Oh, I see. But you can't really, I think what happens is, I think what I'm seeing is you can't do it all at once, right? You do a little bit all the way around. Then as you do it, it's like anything else. Once you tighten in one spot, it can loosen another spot. So, so basically if you just keep working it around, I think it'll keep coming down. Um, Cause I mean, it wasn't too far for it to come down. And like I said, some of them, they're all four and a half. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Inhale some straw. These are all four and a half bales. And some of them are already like an inch away. Would you say four and a half? Four and a half bales tall. <laughs> all of Bugs. these spots are four and a half bales tall. Oh, so yeah. if yeah. one of them makes it, they should all make it, right? Even though they're not oh, exact, yeah. but it right. just means I'm gonna have to pull harder. So, so uh, this is promising that we will make it. These ones are already like an inch away. So it should get there. I think I just have to work it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Cool. You're doing great. <laughs> Did I tell you you're doing a good job? Thanks, babe. Brian has called me to do a little video. Where where am I going? Uh, probably out here, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be better for the light too, I think. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're filming? Yeah. So, you know, unfortunately I don't think we got, I, we spent, I spent a, several days actually. Um, chainsawing, basically uh, shaving that top bale a little bit while it was in place to get the, so the box beam didn't come down everywhere, you know, the same amount. Right. In several places it did hit the buck, but but then in some places it didn't, so I had to take more straw out. Okay. So that took a little while. Yeah, I and remember. And now, but now I do have it all the way down, but it's not enough just to touch the buck, right? The buck has to be plumb so that the window is nice and plumb and square and all that, right? So I have to be careful about where I actually attach the box beam to the bucks. So I just don't want to attach it wherever it falls. And sometimes if the wood got a little twisted or warped or whatever, you know, it lands in kind of a funny spot or whatever, it's a little bowed or whatever. So what I'm doing right now, this is an example. What exactly of, is plumb? Plumb is up and down, level this way. Okay, This I see. is level, this is plumb, you're not looking. This is level, <laughs> this is plumb. So, oh, I get it. Okay, so I'm trying uh, to step over this without tripping. Okay. So I'm what I'm doing right now, okay. for example, this particular king stud yeah. on the side of this window uh, buck uh, was kind of, you know, I, by measuring from the bottom, I know where the buck should meet the top, meet the box beam. It should meet it at the same place that it sits on the sill. So, and it should be plumb. You know, I should be able to put a level up against it and see that it's plumb. Uh -huh. So this one was off a little bit, and several of them have been, but this is just an example. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching ratchet straps as I go to kind of move the oh, that, I see. That yeah, stud pulls it into over. place. So this one needed moved a little bit, so I cranked it a little bit and pulled it over just a tiny bit. And then when I attach it, so I'm screwing them in right now, I may actually go back with nails too because there's going to be some shear force here maybe that might want to break some screws, but... But for now, I'm just screwing them in so that they're attached. But then that shouldn't move anymore. So it should keep everything nice and... So I'm just doing that little by little as I go. I haven't attached the cripple studs yet, and you can see they're probably all a little bit out of place. But right now, I'm worried about the king studs on the sides of all the bucks. So this one, I have kind of moved it into place. And now I'm going to go through the buck. and into the top of that, I'm sorry, through the box beam and into the top of that buck. <laughs> the 
this is just an example of kind of the time consuming finishing yeah slow tedious finishing steps to get this buck in place this box beam in place so i'm doing kind of one in there and i'm also coming out from the edge kind of down into the top of that buck at king stud So that's an example of what I'm doing as I go to get these window bucks all in place. I've done the, what's that, the south side. I'm working down the east side now. So little by little, once I'm done with this, that'll be it for the box beam. Uh, then we'll be ready to build the pony wall on the south wall. So I'm awesome. just gonna finish this up. All right, guys, it may not look all that different to you, but the box beam up here is actually attached now. I mean, not only by the straps, I've strapped it down and squeezed it, but it touches all the bucks and I have attached the box beam to the bucks. And the, so the king studs on each of the window and door bucks and the cripple studs on each of the window and door bucks. So that whole face is like all flush and plumb and everything square. Um, so, and the top is darn level, <laughs> um, as good as it can be. Um, I think I mentioned in one of Pam's, uh, something Pam was videotaping, I'm not sure if it'll end up here or not, so I'll repeat it. Um, I spent a few days, if not several days, um, uh, shaving out some extra straw at the top. It turns out because all the bales are different, um, some of them did compress, like my test, which actually was right here, some of them did compress the three, four inches and, and went right down to the box beam pretty quickly, or the, I'm sorry, the bucks. Um, now I did kind of work around slowly, little by little, around the structure, cranking down inside, outside, you know, moving around. But uh, some of them came down easier than others. And some were never going to come down at all. This was a corner, I believe this was an example, where no matter what I did, no matter how hard I squeezed, it just wouldn't come down all the way. And I actually found out the weak spot in this uh, connection method of strapping material is uh, the buckles. The buckles actually give before the strapping material itself. I did break one strap, but I think it had been, had been exposed to the weather for quite a while, so it snapped. But in every other case, which happened a few times, the buckles actually gave. So what I ended up doing, because it wouldn't squeeze down all the way, is I did in certain spots that wouldn't come down that were far from reaching, you know, an inch or two from reaching the bucks, um, I shaved out some straw. And I did that with a combination of a chainsaw and a handsaw just to kind of pull it out. Unfortunately, it was difficult to do it in place because, you know, the box beam's there, the strapping's there, so I had to be pretty careful. But uh, got it all taken care of. It's all pulled down. There's Pam. <laughs> uh, I believe we are now... What I haven't done, I haven't uh, connected the interior, you know, king studs on the interior of the wall, but I'm not real concerned about them right now. Um, all the weight of the trusses is going to be on the outer edge of the wall. And... Um, I'm about to build the pony wall that's going to go on this south wall right here. It's only going to be about two and a half feet tall, and it will be on the outer edge of the wall too. So what I was concerned with was all these cripple studs and king studs on the outer edge of the wall. So it's all attached, and we're ready for our next step, which is pony wall. I... So I've got to draw a pony oh. wall uh, the way I'm going to build it and uh, go get some material. So um, we'll check back. I... Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing or sharing with a friend. And click the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. We really appreciate every view and comment. And if you're looking for other ways to support us, please check out the links in the description box. See, See you in the, the next, next video! video.